Hey y'all. Okay, so Sarah and I wanted to give you all an update on where we're at in the process with our dual citizenship journey. So a little backstory here. Several years ago, Sarah began researching our Italian heritage through Ancestry.com. She's a big fan of this website. She also went online and found out that we qualify to obtain dual citizenship based upon our lineage, which is so amazing. If you want to know if you qualify, we recommend a website called MyItalianFamily.com where you can get a free evaluation. So Sarah traveled back to Italy in 2020 and she was actually then able to obtain our great grandparents' birth certificates. Once she realized that I wanted to do this with her, then we really started getting serious about all these different details that we're gonna need. So here's where we're at now. We've paid for a consultation with myitalianfamily.com and talked about all the documents that we'll need. That costs us around $200. We've started trying to book appointments at the Italian consulates. I'll eventually need to go to Houston to the Italian consulate. And Sarah will need to go to Chicago to the consulate that's closest to her in Colorado. Unfortunately, these appointments are fully booked for two years and we were told to check back often. In fact, they told us to check back every night at 5 p.m. So Sarah and I literally have calendar appointments set up for every night at 5 p.m. to go see if we can get an appointment. It's actually been really frustrating. <laughs> so in the meantime, we are hard at work on gathering all of the required documents that we will need. Sarah has been awesome and she's traveled to San Jose and to San Francisco and Santa Cruz in order to obtain all of those official documents for us. All birth, marriage, and death certificates. And thankfully for us, all of our relatives live in Northern California. I'm in the clerk recorder's office right now, and the clerk recorder's office, and they're they're embossing all of them, all of the birth, death, and marriage certificates. And there's so many that they're all saying, what? There's so many here. What is going on? It's a big order, but this is what we have to get done if we want to get our dual citizenship. So many documents. I'm just thankful most of them are here in Santa Clara County. I do have to drive up to San Francisco after this and then to Santa Cruz to get the rest of them. Okay, here we have 18 separate documents. That was expensive. This isn't a cheap process, but it's just the beginning. I got my brother and my original certified copies of our birth certificates along with our parents' birth certificates, marriage certificates, our grandparents. Um, thankfully, it was fairly simple in that um, our grandparents and great-grandparents um, documents were mostly all here. I do have to leave now and drive to San Francisco to see if I can get my great-grandparents' marriage certificate. So, hoping that'll be there. I feel emotional though. Just official documents here that show all of our Italian lineage step by step back to um, Marina Ferrari and Luigi Scarpenti from the north of Italy. That's where we're tracing these back to. So I'm excited. First step, check the box. So I'm making my way up the 101 from San Jose to San Francisco. It's about an hour drive. Um, after spending a few hours at the San Jose Courthouse, getting all the first uh, birth certificates, marriage and death certificate documents that I needed, I was leaving and I was starving and there was a Togo sandwiches across the street, which is what I grew up with here in California. And of course I had to get the number 16 Italian sub, which happens to have my papa's favorite Italian cured meat, mortadella. It was very nostalgic. So, headed to San Francisco now. Hopefully the clerk's reporter's office will still be open. It should be. I should have two hours left to get that one last marriage certificate of our great-grandparents, Marina and Luigi. Let's hope I can get it. in this gorgeous grand building of, which is San Francisco City Hall and there's a couple getting married. They're down there getting their pictures taken and I just can't help but think of my great grandparents. We got it. Okay, it's loud in here. Um, I had no idea where Marina and Luigi, our great grandparents were married, but it looks like they may have just come here to this courthouse. It's pretty grand in here. It's just so beautiful and old. And it kind of makes 
my heart melt thinking that perhaps this is where our great grandparents, the immigrants to America from Borgo Val de Taro, the north of Italy, probably got married. I have their address, so I might try and do a drive by where they lived. But I'm so thrilled. I literally was able to get this record. The man was so nice helping me search. At, and we found it at 3.59 and they closed at four. So that felt kind of amazing. So we did it. We have all of our records now for birth, marriage, and death certificates. I'm feeling emotional. I know it's loud in here because there's other people celebrating. Um, I'm in the city hall of San Francisco and I now know that that's where Marina Ferrari and Luigi Scarpenti, Luke and my great great grandparents, the first immigrants in our family to settle here in America. We didn't know where they got married and now I know it's here in this great grand building. It's gorgeous in here. And as I speak, there are other people um, down there celebrating, taking their own beautiful wedding photos. And I wanted to get a little higher up here in this gorgeous building and I ended up spotting this. This gorgeous um, artichoke finial, which is all over in northern Italy. It just felt kind of like a beautiful, a beautiful sign from my grandparents. Thank you for guiding me here. We found your documents. So what are the costs so far? It was $468 for the 18 documents in Santa Clara, $34 for the document in San Francisco, $75 for the three documents in Santa Cruz. The total spent so far $577. Now it's important to note there are companies out there that will do all this for you, they'll do all their research for you, and gather all of the official documents for you, but you're typically gonna pay around five to $8,000 for that service. Sarah and I chose to do it this way because we already have so many of the documents and knowing it's gonna take two years to even book an appointment, we figured we have time to try and do it ourselves. Sarah and I were talking this week and we realized that when she went to Italy back in 2020, she only got one copy of our great grandparents' birth certificate. So unfortunately, I will need one as well. So, got some fun news. We are headed back to Italy end of January. Sarah and I are gonna go to Italy and we're gonna get that document that we need. I'm super excited to take this trip with Sarah the end of January, so stay tuned for more videos. I'm just excited to dig deeper into our Italian heritage as we actually travel to Italy and get to visit family. So, thanks for watching guys.